Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be making some cookies. So the other day I was down visiting my grandma's for Halloween and she loves Christmas and she gets very impatient with presents. So she decided to give one of my Christmas presents to me a little bit early and she said it's because she knows I love to bake. She wanted to give it to me before Christmas so I could use it for the Christmas holiday. No, it's only the beginning of November, but I am in the mood for some double chocolate chip cookies. And to give it a little bit of a holiday twist, I'm going to add some peppermint instead of vanilla. That is what I'm going to be baking today and then I will fill it up with my Santa cookie jar that she got me. So there we have it. Now I already have my oven ready to go. It is at 350 degrees. So first I'm going to start with my softened butter and my sugar, and we're gonna get that creamed together. So you need a half a cup of butter, so one stick. Dump that in. And then you need a half a cup of both sugar and brown sugar. a half cup of sugar and then a half a cup of brown sugar. For the brown sugar, we're going to pack it down. Okay, that's looking good, so we're going to add that in. And then we're going to start creaming together our sugar. This is going to need a few minutes to go, so I am going to let this do its thing and I'll check in with you in a couple minutes. Okay, this has come together nicely. I'm just gonna scrape the edges down. And then we're gonna add in one egg. We're gonna get that all blended together. Awesome, and then we're gonna scrape down the bowl again. And then the last thing I'm going to add to my wet ingredients before we get started on the dry is two teaspoons of peppermint extract. Make sure you're careful with this. You do not want to get too much of this or it will be really overpowering. Oh, it smells really good. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna get that all incorporated in too. Okay, awesome, that is looking great. Now it is time to get started with my dry. So first off, we're gonna start with flour. I need a cup and two tablespoons of flour. One cup. And then two tablespoons. One, two. And then you need one third cup of cocoa powder. You can do just regular cocoa powder or you can do dark cocoa powder. I get the cocoa powder the same way I did my flour. I'm trying to be careful not to make a mess. Add that in. And then you're going to have a teaspoon of baking soda and also a half a teaspoon of salt. And finally, this is optional, but if you have any instant espresso powder, you can do a fourth a teaspoon of that. It's not that much, but it will make the cocoa bring out a richer flavor, but it won't add any coffee flavor to it. So we're just going to add a tiny bit of this like so. And then you get to whisk that all together. That's looking great. So we are gonna slowly start incorporating it into my wet ingredients. May wanna make sure you go slow so it doesn't puff up at you. So we're slowly. You wanna make sure you're not over mixing things too, cause then it will get tough. Okay, and that is looking good. Bring it down, wipe off the sides. It smells great too. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to do is fold in some chocolate chips. I'm going to be using some dark chocolate, but you can use milk chocolate or even white chocolate if you want more of a contrast. So dump some of these in there. Okay, and we're just gonna fold that in so it gets all incorporated into the dough. And your dough is going to be looking something like this. It is not that much, 
So if you want to have a larger amount, I will let you know how many cookies I get out of this, but you may want to double it if you're making it for a bunch of people or you just want a lot around your house. But for now, this will be good for just me. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then we're gonna get them on the cookie sheets. Okay, much better. Now it is time to get your cookies out. I'm just gonna be using a spoon and I'm gonna be taking about this much. I'm gonna be making them tinier, but if you want them larger, you can obviously do that, whatever shape and size you want. You're taking about a tablespoon. Make sure you're leaving enough space in between them so they don't smush together when they bake. I don't know how much this is gonna separate, so giving them a little extra room this first time. It's a lot easier with forming cookies if you have one of those like mini ice cream scoop things. Okay, so my cookies are looking like this. I'm going to put them in the oven for about 12 to 13 minutes and check to see if they're done. And then we will give them a taste test. Okay, these turned out great. Look at that. These look fantastic. I am going to get them off of the cookie sheet and onto a cooling rack, and then we're gonna give them a taste test in a few minutes. I did have these in the oven for 13 minutes. Okay, there we go. Okay, it is time for a taste test. This recipe made 21 cookies for me, so it is smelling amazing in here. I love the smell of mint and chocolate mixed together, so let's, look at how that just goes apart. I love eating cookies too when they're right out of the oven, so let's give this a try. Yeah, this is so good. I love chocolate, anything. Halloween just happened and I always go for the chocolate treats if I get my hands on any Halloween candy. So this is fantastic. It really reminds me of an Andy's Mint. I love Andy's Mints. Actually, this would even be good if you put uh, Andy's Mints in as the chocolate chips, make it even more minty, but oh, it was so good. And right now, the outer edges are really crispy and the center is just gooey and it is has melting chocolate and it's amazing. The mint complements the chocolate so well and it all mixes together great. It's not too sweet. The mint gives it a nice refreshing flavor and it does remind me of candy canes as well. So if you're gonna make this around Christmas time, this would be perfect for that too. But it's also good any time of year. The mint kind of gives it a cooling flavor. So if you're on a hot summer day, it would even be good. I'm very impressed with these. So I am going to let these finish cooling completely and then they're gonna be going into my Santa cookie jar. But if you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. This is so good. Time to fill up the cookie jar. Got this all rinsed out so it is all ready to go. Ooh, almost dropped that one. They're slippery. Perfect, it was just able to fit all of them. So now I have this all ready for whenever I want a little bit of a sweet treat. Ta-da!